Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. Today, I'd like to talk to you about uh, some of this mud fossil stuff. Now, for those who are new to the idea, it's the idea that like some, I don't know that I would claim all, but I don't know. I'm not the expert. Most of, you know, rocks, mountains, trees, some people even believe soil and lava. It's all organic dead bodies of giants, which I'm here to tell you is from the first earth age. Now, I'm not suggesting that I necessarily believe that all of it came from bodies, meaning I there very well may be such things just a rock. But there's no question that Roger from Mud Fossil University has uh, tested some of these in their DNA. I mean, they're clearly just, when you see them, once your eyes are opened, you can't not see this. It's not pedalalia or whatever they call that name where you're just seeing shapes in the sky. Every researcher goes through that. It's really, you know, evil. So, my brother said the other day that in Lord of the Rings, I don't remember seeing it, but apparently at the end, it's like all the trees come alive and all the soil comes, you know, it's like everything comes alive. And I mean, that's animism. That's ancient, like, tribal voodoo, that every rock and every tree has a spirit. I was going to send you it out. It's not true. And what's going to happen is you're going to worship the environment if you do that. Please do not do that. Environment's beautiful, but it's not God. Everything is not equal. They literally have people claiming that there's, that like a human is not greater than a, a, you know, a mushroom or a flower or a squirrel. It's absolutely asinine. Utterly crazy. When they say biological diversity, what they mean is humans, giants, and fallen angels, diversity. You get it? Everything they do is double speak. So, putting up a picture of this devil's tower here because it's something a lot of people um, you know, recognize. I do believe it looks just like a tree. I also believe it's a right ankle, just like Roger says, and I'm not with him per se. I don't agree with all his doctrine. Or I'm just saying I, 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 I'll give credit for that. I think there's tendons behind it. It's, it's literally a claim from the giants. That means that giant must have been several hundred thousand feet tall. Now, folks, none of this makes sense. And that's the purpose of this video. To try and make sense of it for you, like why, where did this come from? There's a first Earth age, like period in a hockey game. This is not um, reincarnation. This is three Earth ages. And the first Earth age, before we fell, before we all sinned, before Lucifer, you know, started the rebellion, and you better believe Satan, Cain, and Eve, we were all men at the time started this conspiracy from the first Earth age. So, however it went down, when the planet Tiamat was destroyed from Mars and Jupiter, I am here to tell you now, I might as well do this in this video, that Eve, the whore of Babylon, she's trying to claim the planet Earth, which is named with me, for me, Lundion. There's nothing arrogant about it. This is the next thousand years of peace and happiness. I really did that good. Nothing compared to Jesus. She's trying to claim the planet as war reparations for Tiamat's being destroyed as if she's the victim. She's always the victim. The New World Order will rape, rob, murder, molest you, and then tell you send them a bill, just like the state of Kansas did me when my sister you know, infinitely abused me. And then she'll tell me she's not safe to be around me. When I'm not safe to be around her and have never, ever harmed anybody in my life and never would in an infinite number of lifetimes, and I'm the stranger who stepped in front of a bus to push you and your kids out of the way. Oh, okay, there you go. Every day of my life. That's how evil this spirit is. So Eve ruins everything in the first earth age. Now, it's just not the women. I mean, she was a guy at the time. We didn't have women in the first earth age. God made it as a beautiful compliment to create children. And Eve fell. Adam and Eve were originally equal. Eve wanted more. She was the dominant. She wasn't dominant. She was the aggressor. She was the rebel, the monster. She's not cool and liberated. She ruined everything, just like Satan. He wasn't pushed. He fell. 
Eve's no different. They're not the cool people at the party who are lovable rejects. They tried to rape your dog. They put brown acid in the punch bowl and they bogarted every single joint and it turned out to be swag. They're just, and they laughed out loud at you and took all your money and then played the victim and said, what are you doing? Why are you, I don't, how could you dare? Oh, we're not cool enough for you. See? So, she's literally trying to redeem humanity with this whole digital system, whatever's going on, I don't know. With the currency reset, I don't know. I mean, I just can't tell you. It's, I don't know if there'll ever be a dinar. I don't know what they're doing with the dollar, but something is going on with this monetary reform where she'll literally claim to be your savior. Cheng Yi, Wu Zietian. Doesn't matter. Solo Jod was said, nah, Aphrodite, Ishtar, Samiramis, Columbia. It just keeps on going. Athena, it's a lot. It's all the same. Of course, there's a masculine evil, but it's, it's just easier to hide behind it. She's a nice little great grand lady. Okay. So, what happened in the first earth age, we have expressions in our language that says, I would give my right eye for something. And let's be honest. I mean, men have the spread that says, I would give my left nut for something. Do you know Robert Mugabe? He's dead now, but he was the head of Zimbabwe. He literally had half his penis and half of his testicle cut off as a sacrifice because they're half and halfers. Cry now, smile later. Smile now, cry later. That's how they do things. This is on Wikipedia. I mean, it was rumored and people talked about it and said, well, it shows his commitment to the people. Okay, that's the devil that has to do something like that. That's why Jerry Garcia is missing two-thirds of his middle finger. Two, one, two. Or the cardinal points, two, one, two. Top down, X marks the spot. Two-thirds, 66.6 of his middle finger. It means he sold his soul when he's four years old. Him and his brother or cousin or whoever it was knew exactly what they were doing. So, in the first year of the age, the giants who are super huge, the fallen angels could be, you know, like our size. They're just space cadet, you know, Palladians, Andromedans, uh, rulers of the galactic everything. I mean, that's what they'll be. Aliens, but they won't all look like it. Some of them will look beautiful and angelic and just like the shining serpent did in the, in the first earth age. In the Garden of Eden in the second earth age. So, the first earth age, all of Satan's kingdom knew it was coming to an end. So they claimed everything on earth, which I'll call Lundian, fine, you know it is, is earth. Earth is the generic, Lundian is the specific. Yeah. Earth is a, an amalgam, a holographic microcosm to the macrocosm of the entire earth. So, or the entire cosmos. So when you see, uh, like when they do auricular therapy and they read the little spots on your ear and it corresponds to the whole body, well, all the spots on this planet correspond to somewhere else out in the cosmos. That's why the occultist will say, as above, so below, as it is on the middle. You're in the middle. The below is the hollow earth and Eden in the sun below you. And whatever minerals are in the ground or curses or dead bodies or ancestral spirits, and I'm not with the call. I'm saying I'm a Christian, but that's how they do things, as above. So wherever you're at right now, there's a point in the cosmos above the stars that corresponds with soil beneath you down in the hollow earth, and it's all one big, like, energy grit, okay? So on Satan's kingdom, you know, he couldn't, it would take literally forever for all of his minions to claim the cosmos, and they're always fighting because they're evil. They're just like a big corporation or fraternity or whatever, and everybody wants to be the big dog. So everybody's just fighting. I mean, Satan's kingdom is not because they love each other. They just agree that they all want to make the most money. So they make money with galactic credits, which is, first of all, ultimately souls. This is why the world has to turn sovereign, because the devil doesn't have clear title to the souls in hell, so it doesn't mean anything to them now. But they, they, they keep score with you know, gold, minerals. Um, I do believe there's this thing called electrova, which is pure electrons, and they probably get it from gold, but it's pure energy. You see my video on the Planet of Jars. Regardless, they need gold, diamonds, whatever it is to keep score, to show how neat they are, to get influence of others, because nobody in Satan's kingdom does something for a favor. It's just, I do this for you, you do this for me. Well, what do you need? Gold, diamonds, silver, platinum, palladium, whatever it is, I don't know. You know, uranium, space dust, I don't know. Now, imagine these people who are really smart in the first Earth age, learned how to suck, like, suck in energy from the air. Like a baleen whale siphons off these little bitty plankton, I guess they are, with their, with this filter. You wouldn't even necessarily know they're eating. 
So what if a giant or a dragon <laughs> figured out how to breathe in the cosmic ether or the air or the ionosphere or whatever it is because they're frigging smart in the first Earth age? One keeps on going. You know, I'll tell a story. I had this snake named Raymond. He was an albino Burmese python. I gave him away. This is like 25 years ago. I gave him away after years because he was just sitting in the cage and I felt bad and I was dying of Lyme disease. So I gave him the pet shop. We found out he went to the high school. I think it was Shawnee Mission North. Well, it wasn't more than a few weeks ago. My brother talked to somebody who had been there and he, he had mentioned the snake and he was like, oh, this one's way back. He's like, yeah, no, this was like 25 years ago. Oh yeah, we had him. He told me the snake got to like 20 feet, 25 feet long. It was absolutely enormous, like, like, a, like several inches wide. Now, I know they get this big. They do this down in Florida. But when I gave him up, he was like eight or nine feet. And he can eat a rabbit. But, you know, I figured maybe, you know, I hope someone would take care of him because I just didn't want him to sit there. So I was so glad he had this life where he, like, got to meet high school kids. And I can't believe they put a snake that big there, honestly. But I was like, man, we left him alone for a little while. He got huge. Well, what do you think is going to happen to all those when they say the beast has got to keep feeding, that's the only way to make sense of a thousand mile dragon over China, Morocco, or whatever the stuff is that Mud Fossils talks about. It just kept eating and eating. It just kept taking energy and blood. And it literally just turns, I mean, the devil just turns into the most debased taker, just like a beast. See my video on that, um, the Zimbabwe dollar where it's like a, a nose and a finger and a toe. It looks just like it, folks. What are you going to do when these people walk around and there's 50 feet tall giants or 100 feet tall giants? We need Jesus. I mean, nobody's going to beat them in a fight. There's always somebody who can beat you in a fight. I have no idea who can beat me in a fight, but it doesn't, you know, you need truth. And so you can beat me in a fight. So what? Truth is dominant. There's no way to kill the truth. These people are looking to the flesh. When I say these people, I mean the giants and the fallen angels and the giants are the Nephilim, the hybrid vigor, the fallen angels, and the daughters of women. Now, I also want you to understand how this went down because this is a click in my understanding that changed. When the fallen angels, the watchers, the Anunnaki, and that's who God originally designed hell for. He never wanted any of us to go there. God doesn't start out like wanting anything but good for us. We just create all the garbage in the judgment and then we play the victim and then we run into hell saying he's mean. See how the evil that is? Like God's doing just awesome. So you slap him in the face through sin. We all do that. And then we require judgment for him and then we play the victim and we go to hell. You want to do that? I don't want to do that. Would you do that to a parent? Or would you go like shoot their car's tire and then say, you're a horrible person. You grounded me. You spanked me. You monster. That's a horrible thing to do to a parent, right? Okay. Consider God's perspective. So, when the fallen angels saw the daughters of, of, of women, like me, like any, most men or anybody, you're just thinking, yeah, they were gorgeous. I mean, these were, we were de-evolving. So, these first women were hotter than any super, supermodel you ever had. I mean, that you've ever seen. Um, perfectly healthy. I mean, they would have been smart. They could cook. I mean, I mean, everything. I mean, they're artists. They're engineers, I mean, these are like people who all had probably 200 IQs and were drop-dead gorgeous. I mean, they could probably all do gymnastics and splits and sew and MacGyver this and that, and they would have looked at us like, oh my God. Like, what happened to these ninnies over here? <laughs> oh, just think about that. They'd be like, you guys don't know how to do anything? No, well, they also had higher atmosphere and barometric pressure. They had, you know, originally they didn't have the debt pimping and all the poisons. So it was very much different. Okay. The fallen angels did not date, mate with the daughters of women just because they wanted to have sex with them. I thought originally for years, I'm just like, well, I mean, if you're a fallen angel and you've got everything except, you know, this gorgeous woman you want to make babies with, I mean, that's enough for me. <laughs> For to realize where somebody's going to sin. I don't want to, I'm not selling myself for that, but I just understand if you were a gazillionaire, fallen angel spaceship designer, and you got 200 IQ and everything's awesome, but you got no girl, it's like, okay, God said not to, but I really want to, so I'm going to do that, right? Okay, that's not why they did that. It's part of why they did that, but that's not the real reason they did that. 
The reason they did that is because Satan is a lawyer. You want to really know Satan, he's a lawyer, pimp, banker. Oh, he's a preacher too. <laughs> sure, he's an alchemist, he'll be whatever you want, but he's ultimately a lawyer, banker, pimp. Sin. So, when the fallen angels saw the daughters of women, they weren't just seeing, here's a way for us to have sex. And sure, they're going to want to love, but these are horrible people. Why? Because they're fallen angels. They didn't, they didn't, they're fallen because they're horrible. Not horrible because they're fallen. They're fallen because their spirits are just that wicked. So, what they did was, when they saw the daughters of women that they were fair to behold, Okay, we can, this is, you know, we want sex, we want to feel good. That's not a wrong instinct. What they found, what they discovered was, we weren't born on earth. Which I'll call Lundia. We were not born on this planet. Therefore, they have no resource claims to this planet. But if they were to marry the daughters of women, the daughters of Adam, who were fair to look upon and have children, because of hybrid vigor, F1, F1, get P1 is more stronger than the first two original pure stocks. This is literally like cannabis breeding, how you do this. The hybrid vigor, the giants are now going to be 10, 20, 50 feet tall. Still going to be sharp as a tech. Those are our kids. Now we have legal claims to the planet. That's the microcosm to all the resources in the cosmos. Is this starting to make sense to you now? So when they did that, they're saying, we're creating a legal relationship and a legal claim, and now we're the patriarch of this dynasty of people who were born here who established dominion, and these giants now rule the world all over the place, giving the fallen angels a legal claim to the planet, and more importantly, the resources in the entire cosmos that are represented by the microcosm of this singular land planet. doesn't wander. It's fixed. It's hollow. It's expanding. It's globular. It's a globe. It's hollow. I don't know it's a perfect uh, circle. It's fixed. It can wobble in great catastrophe. So they say it's 23.5 degrees tilted. From what, you know, I, you, that's a whole other video. The sun revolves around the earth, just like the Bible says, because the earth is his footstool. Everything you've been told is a lie. I accept your rejection. Some of you can hear me. This is making sense to you now. So Eve, the whore of Babylon, is now going to try and save humanity, claiming, after she ruined the whole cosmos in the first Earth age, that she's the victim and you now owe me for a dead planet named Tiamat. So now her coronavirus is killing all of us, literally killing people, because... She wants to take out vengeance. I mean, let's just be honest. Look, there's nothing I can do about this. I'm Michael the Archangel. I took down that bitch in the first Earth age. Her name wasn't Eve. She wasn't even female in the first Earth age. Her name was Hava or whatever. I don't care. It was Java. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If the devil really did die tomorrow, 400 octillion of them replace him and want to be bigger than the old dude. They can take them. They've, they've been taking notes. You get it? There's this expression that says if man didn't have God, we would invent him. Well, that's asinine. Go to my video on the seal of God, truth plus love equals life. It's not possible for God not to exist. But by analogy, it's a perfect inverted mirrored reality, uh, analogy, which is what? If we didn't have the devil. We wouldn't need him. We'd still go to hell and we still sin and we're still evil. That's the only way man's ever getting out of this. There's a, a Cindy Lauper picture right under my video and she's singing that song Time After Time. She's singing that from Lucifer to her. T-A-T, drop the zeros. 20, 1, 20, drop the zeros. Two, one, two. Two, two at the top, one in the middle, two at the bottom. X marks the spot. That's a peg. She's telling you, when you're lost in the love, you can't find me time after time. She's telling you when you're lost and whatever it is, something bad, oh baby, daddy loves you. 
She's literally singing that as a love song from her to and from Lucifer. This is the world. Time after time would be like Kairos time. The swastika whirlwind, inner, outer, 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 Atlantean, you know, hyperdimensional physics time, fifth dimensional activation time. This is how the world really works. Yeah, like imagine if I did something today on Satan's King, I'm, I'm a Christian, but it would be like something that happened, you know, two and a half years ago and two and a half years in the future. It is where it is not. You have to, it's very difficult to, to explain this because you'd have to study it and really learn it. But that's how they do things. So Eve, the whore of Babylon, is punishing humanity because she knows that everyone's not going to go along with her. So she's not getting everybody under her. She's claiming to be God. She's the ultimate woman scorned. She knows she's unredeemable. She's murdered, I don't even know, a billion babies. I mean, it's just horrible. So now, what God did in the first Earth 8, when Tiamat's collapsed, asteroids exploded, it's very possible that what I'm seeing is it, it collapsed the sun and everything froze. Now, how all these fossils got the way they did, were they frozen? I don't know. I just, I don't have the science behind that. I don't, I'm not a trained scientist. I have kind of that mind, but I'm open to it. You know, I'm, I don't know everything. Was it flash frozen? Well, then why is the leg chopped off on Devil's Tower? I'm telling you, think about it. Have you ever heard like a, an animal gets stuck in a trap and he'll chew his foot off before he... It's so horrible that we even live in a world that that happens, but he'll chew his foot off just to escape the trap. I don't know. Is that what happened with Devil's Tower? I mean, they, they say you put your right foot down. That's a claim. Mm-hmm. In banking now, they have this thing with the, like, the thumbprints you'll see on the internet. It's your biometrics ID. They were claiming their little body, their bodies. They knew the first earth age was over. So Satan told them, look, you're going to fight over this dominion and this is the war. And if you want the second and third earth age to come in my kingdom, you're going to go fight for it and show me who's the, you know, show me who's the boss, who wants it. So they had this movie called, uh, I think it was called Far and Away with Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, and they're doing this land grab in Oklahoma, and they're like, they're running and running and running, and they put their little flag down, they get their land. Now, assuming there was no conflict with the American Indians, which I'm sure there was, but, you know, that was the only way, way to do it. It was like, we got a race, grab your, grab your land, put your flag down, stake your claim, there you go. Take your 40 acres, God bless you. That's how it was in Satan's kingdom. So God said, I'm going to let all these devils come here. Like he literally, I really think he imploded the whole cosmos of organic matter right on this planet, which for lack of a better word, doesn't want her, but planet, so that it would have been much smaller. Now it's got like a flesh outer later. Now the planet itself became as if when man became flesh, we were still physical. We'll always be physical. Flesh means fallen. So think of the, the, the grizzle, the stuff that sags the cartilage when your nose and ears gets too big. It's not better. It's just like, I mean, it's the stuff that was circumcised represented. It's stuff you don't need. It's stuff that, it's garbage that adds to you like rust or barnacles to a ship. That's what was added to the planet. All these bodies of giants, the whole thing collapsed and imploded in one big zero point. Now, again, were they frozen? I don't know. Were they kilned? Was there a hot event after this that happened? I mean, the explosion could have caused heat too. If, how do you know that the explosion didn't release all this heat from the planet, burned everything up? Then all the asteroid dust and debris shut down the sun, which historically has happened with, I believe it was Krakatoa, but it might not be, uh, there was a summer where they almost starved to death because that happened with volcano that covered up the sun and the plants couldn't grow and people starved. So this whole first Earth Age event, this end times cataclysm in the first Earth Age, it could have been, you know, it, it, it burned everything and then <sighs> frozen. So imagine being tartarized, like putting a kiln and then putting a freezer, instant, like one to the other. Boom, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Oh my God, all these, all these creatures die. And then, how long would it take? Minutes? If you, there really the sun was all the way covered up from an explosion that big over our planet, it might take 
literally, I mean, minutes, seconds before you freeze. If I mean, the temperature would could have dropped to 100 degrees in minutes. There's evidence for this. The woolly mammoths were found with buttercups in their mouth, like in Alaska. Tropical food in their mouths. <sighs> literally, like you just fr- flash froze them like Han Solo in the, I'm sure that was a zero point, um, Harrison Ford, and you know, he's stuck inside the, the little deal in uh, Star Wars. That's what went down. That's very difficult for anybody to live with. I mean, it's just hard to, I mean, but this is the end times. This is another thousand years of peace and happiness. I'm definitely not being paraded into attorney, just in case you want. So this is what happened. This is the why. This is what uh, Roger from Munfall, I don't know if he knows or he doesn't go into. I mean, he's been through a lot of stuff. He's been, he's just, I mean, he's seen a lot of stuff and a lot of people hate him. And, you know, I can't speak for him. I don't know if he's going to be around longer. I hope he is, but I just, He's been through some health issues and whatnot, and he wants other people to push this forward. This is actually a longer video for me, but this is important because I'm going through a lot of things here, okay? Nothing in my video is just uh, wasting your time. This is all the way big. Yes, I believe there, uh, I'm here to tell you that all the planets are, assume every heavenly body is hollow. Why? Because if it's not, you don't have anything to lose. But if it is and you don't think it is, then wait till all the space cadets Fallen angels and giants come out of them. Like the hollow moon. The solo moon. I'm going to leave it right there. I love you. Um, I will never be able to describe to you the price I paid to bring you these videos. And I don't want to talk about that either. I want to have fun. I want to see people repent and choose Jesus. That's it. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Truth plus love equals life.